What are the Green Empire of the East and the West's infrastructures? These are the infrastructures of the EL4 Dev Program, all labeled La Papillon Source. 1. Agricultural Climatic and Self-Managed Educational Theme Parks, the Tourist Cities. This is the first model of labeled cities La Papillon Source, these are holiday resorts for all inclusive educational and experimental stays. 2. Agricultural Climatic and Self-Managed Plant Eco Landscape Complexes, the Self-Managed Food Bank Cities. This is the second model of the cities labeled La Papillon Source, they are non-touristy, so no business model smaller and represent centers of agricultural production and ecosystem regeneration. The production, 100% vegetable, is not marketed but distributed free of charge to local non-profit organizations responsible for helping the poorest. One of the objects of this group of interconnected complexes is the food self-sufficiency of nations. 3. The Green, Vegetal, Plant Calderas these are the key modules and agricultural climatic generators of the cities and complexes labeled La Papillon Source. These are vertical parks with a metal structure and covered with plants that can be visited in three dimensions and are presented as sanctuaries and refuges for bees and numerous species of birds. These structures emit a large quantity of electromagnetic waves positively influencing living beings in their surroundings and have a key function in geobiology acupuncture point on the Earth's telluric network. In the architecture of cities and complexes labeled La Papillon Source, the green, vegetal, plant calderas are the centerpieces, the pioneering modules to be put in place before anything else. They are funded by the sub-program the municipalities counterattack and are strategic elements for the revitalization of territories most often located along railway lines, preferred means of transport in the Green Empire of the East and the West.